Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, here with a guide for Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, this is basically uh, a remastered guide for uh, how to rescue Solaire without entering the Chaos Servant Covenant. I originally did this guide back on my other channel in 2013, but since we have Dark Souls Remastered, I figured maybe I would give this guide a fresh coat of paint and a bit more of an explanation. So, in order to make this guide work, all you have to do is uh, not enter Lost Isolith, and you need some sort of spell or ability that can attack through walls. Um, so what I use is the Pyromancy Poison Mist. You can use Toxic Mix, uh, Toxic Mist, or you can use the Drake Sword. Um, Wrath of the God should also work. Uh, basically anything that can do damage through a door will, will work. Um, so, like I said, do not enter Lost Isolith. You can do this uh, after killing the Demon Fire Sage. You can also do this after killing the Centipede Demon. You just cannot enter Lost Isolith. So the second the screen says Lost Isolith, uh, it's too late. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that, that's pretty much the explanation here. So that is the fog door for the Demon Fire Sage, but instead we're going to turn right here, and this is the shortcut door. So. Normally, you would need to enter the Chaos Servant Covenant, donate 30 soft humanity to Quelag's sister, and then you can open this door. Uh, it does, like, the game doesn't actually tell you that that's a perk you get, but that's a perk you get. Um, so these little things on the ground, these are Chaos Bugs, and we need to kill a specific Chaos Bug that sits on the other side of the door. And you know that you killed the correct one because it awards you 100 souls on New Game, and then I think like 150 or 200, I'll actually look it up right now. Uh, it it awards more on, on New Game Plus. So New Game Plus will give you one, uh, 200, New Game Plus six and higher, it'll give you 250. So as you can see here, I'm not in any covenant. It's right under my name, it says Covenant None. So we're gonna go ahead and use Poison Mist here. And it's going to poison the bug on the other side of the wall. We're just gonna cast it once. Uh, I think my Pyromancy Flame at this point, it's not ascended. I think it might be plus 10 or something. Um, but yeah, see, it poisons the bug, and then we just wait. Uh, it's about halfway dead right now, um, and it's going to die. And then we're going to get 100 souls, and then it's going to drop the Sunlight Maggot Helm, and it will stay there for the rest of the game. You can die, you can go kill other bosses, you can kill NPCs, don't kill Solaire, obviously. Um, but yeah, it'll stay there. So here we have Solaire. This is right after I kill the Centipede Demon. Uh, this is his last bit of dialogue. And if you do not kill that Sunlight Maggot or the the Red-Eyed Chaos Bug at this point, um, or directly after that point, uh, he will reach it before you and go insane. Now, something that I didn't mention in the original guide back in 2013 that I want to mention here is the other way to do this is to just not speak to him after he gives you the white sign soapstone in the undead berg. Um, if you, if that's the last time you speak with him, he will appear again in Anorlando. But if you do not speak to him in Anorlando, he will not move. Uh, NPCs in this game only move when you exhaust their dialogue. So if you just never speak to him after the undead berg, he'll, he will stay in Anorlando the entire time. So what that means is you do not need to kill the red-eyed chaos bug um, early using this method. You could just never talk to him. And then, you know, get here, kill the bug, go back, progress his storyline, and do it that way. And then he will end up here, um, you know, saddened like I'm going to show you now. Uh, he will end up here even if, you know, even if you do this way later. Uh, so that's another way to do it. Um, and of course, the other way is donate 30 humanity and do it the correct way. Uh, that That's another method. Now, something I want to mention before I wrap this video up is that you do not need to ever summon Solaire for a boss fight for co-op. Um, you can do this all as undead. That's exactly what I did in this playthrough. Um, I never summoned for help in my first playthrough the remaster, and this guide or this method worked just fine. So you do not need to summon him. You just need to talk to him in all of his locations to progress his story. And one other cool little thing is that you can open this door from the other side without being part of the Chaos Servant Covenant. Um, it's kind of useless at this point because you don't really have a reason to come back to Lost Isolith unless maybe you're doing Sigmire's quest. Um, but, you know, well, maybe that'll be another video. Speaking of other videos, if you have requests for other Dark Souls remastered guides or any Dark Souls guide, really, uh, please leave a comment. I'm happy to do them. I do plenty of guides on request and I'm more than happy to, uh, to make them for you. 
Uh, also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm at SJCage. Um, you can also visit my website, SweetJohnnyCage.com, where I, it's basically like an archive of all my videos that I've ever done. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.